So here we have our first finalist, utility winner. This is Francesca and Teddy the Skipper Key, representing the utility group. And now coming into the ring is the winner from the toy group. This is the Bichon Frise. And there's Isabel with Pippin, the Bichon Frise. Group. From the Gun Dog Group, we have Georgia and Nancy, English an Spring English Springer Spaniel. The Working Group, represented by the Siberian And here is the Husky. Siberian Husky with Paige. From the Pastoral Group, the Sarah Border and Dylan, the Border Collie here, representing the Pastoral Group. From today's judging, the Terrier Group winner, the Wire Fox. A lovely Wire Fox Terrier here, Zephyr, with his owner Poppy. And last but not least, our Hound And the last group of our finalists, representing the Hound Group, we've got Erin and Judy. Pitit, Bassett, Griffon, Bondion. So our judge has already judged these dogs outside of the ring, so she will probably move them up and down. Take one final look before crowning the winner of the Young Kennel Club Stakes Final for 2020. It's a huge honour for these young handlers to be in the Best in Show ring here today, and many of them will aspire to be back here for the main competition in the future, won't they, Frank? Yes, and the, the qualifier for this is that the, the dogs have to be owned by them or by their parents to, to join the uh, Young Kennel Club competition here. And they qualify at events held at championship shows throughout the year, then they come here, compete on their group day, and if they win through, they get to come into here for the final. And this is not a handling competition, the judges judging the dogs. Yes, we saw the international junior handlers in here yesterday, and there we are judging the handling, but this is very much about the confirmation and movement of the dogs. So I think Judge I'm just going to move the dogs up and down. Judge yeah, just checking on the movement. She's going to send them up and down and then round the ring, looking at the fore and rear movement and the profile movement. So here we have utility group winner. This is Francesca, Teddy the Skipper Key. Little Belgian barge dog. She be compact, wedge-shaped head and smartly pricked ears. This cape of hair over the neck and... The culottes at the back of the back legs makes it a very smart, distinctive outline of the breed. That jet black coat there, lovely contrast with the red on the handler. He's gonna, she's gonna go round to the end. And it's a brisk, smart action wanted in the breed. Moving and really nicely there. And Francesca looking very composed in this big ring atmosphere. Thousands in the <laughs> audience tonight, so uh, it's a big ordeal for the nerves. A big circuit for her. So really making the most of the ring, and why not? So the second of our finalists. So that lovely skipper key there, moving out really well in the big ring. And here's the little Bichon Frise with Isabel. This is Pippin. Now, we've seen a Bichon win the group, haven't we, the toy group here, going through to best in show later. Could there be an omen in this one, perhaps? Maybe, yes, if this may one wins, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Again, the B, this toy breed, the Bichon Frise, the Bichon Frise means corkscrew curls in the coat. Soft and silky with little loose curls. Dark pigmentation on its nose and eye rims give it this lovely, warm expression. The tail carried up over the back. Judge looking for parallel movement there from the front and rear. These handlers probably do compete in junior handling as well, which is why they're making such good use of the mm. ring. And Pippin's quite unfazed by it as well. He's <laughs> very sedate in his movement and carriage. There is Pippin representing the toy group. So now we have the English Springer Spaniel. This is Nancy with her handler, Georgia, and they're representing the Gundog so Group. Now, 
Really striding out. That's very good English springer movement. This clean, long stride in front. Very good top line and a very good head with a soft expression. Lovely silky coat. This one, a liver and white. And you can see the, the bond between handler and dog it's here. The dog lovely. looking up at the handler, wanting to please. Yeah. It's so important that these young people have that rapport with their dogs. So there's the English Springer Spaniel representing the gun dog group in yeah. the YKC Stakes That's final. That's in very good form. The next of our finalists representing the working group, so this is Paige and Lexi, the Siberian Husky. The fastest of the Arctic the sled dogs. Husky. Fit for function with this weatherproof coat, long tail, a degree of elegance with the long legs. They're light and they, were, they could haul loads over long distances. And we can see that on the move, can't we? These dogs should be able to go all day. Light on the feet, endurance. And Another red suit there, contrasting lovely against that dog. And the handler taking the good dog at just the right pace to show off its movement and top line. So Paige and Lexi, the Siberian Husky there, the finalists from the working group. And the judge now looking at the border, the border collie with Sarah. He's one from the pastoral group. And the dog is called Dylan. This one, long haired variety. These are workman like dogs bred for herding. Again, another breed which has to be fit for function. We'll see the very typical breed movement as it goes round, just dropping the head a little bit lower, that rather stealthy stride and movement. And makes them fit for purpose, allows them to herd sheep. Just getting a little bit excited there, but the handler very experienced, just brought him back down to a trot. So there we have Dylan, the Border Collie, the finalist for the pastoral group. Again, willing to please, looking it up, up at the handler. Our next finalist, Poppy and Zephyr, a wire fox terrier. These judged today representing the terrier group here in the YKC Stakes Finals. A uh, very smart as paint wire fox terrier. They make such good show dogs. That, that eagerness, alert expression, that tail. And beautifully trimmed, we can see the crisp wire coat, lovely shaping of the dog to show off its outline, a long neck, a short back, a high set tail, and a very good stride for a wire fox terrier here. Full of, anim full of animation, yes. Just, just a little fast perhaps, but uh, we're looking at the dog here, and he's going very well. Lovely outline there on the move. There we have Zephyr, the wire fox terrier, representing the terrier group. And here is the sm the smallest of the, uh, the one of the hounds, the Bassett family, the Petit Bassett Griffin Von Dien, and looks like the youngest handler here. This is Erin, and she's handling her Petit Bassett Griffin Von Dien, who's called Judy. So as we said, handlers in here anywhere between the ages of 6 and 24, they must be members of the Young Kennel Club. And if you are watching and thinking that you would love to do this with your dog, head online and you can find out how to join. It's a fantastic organisation. All kinds of competitions for young people and their dogs. Not just pedigree dogs, crossbreeds are more than welcome in almost all the competitions. And this is another breed which loves the show ring. They always put on a good show, moving out freely. Very smart dogs, really eye-catching. Tail lashing, all these dogs and their handlers really enjoying themselves here. Not being hurried, sign of a good handler. So as we said, fantastic achievement for these young handlers. This is their equivalent of best in show. All of them have put a near poor perfect performance, haven't they, Frank? Yeah, absolutely. They've put on good show, handlers and dogs. Now, the decision for Barbara Muller is going to be a difficult one. Just taking one last look. Who is she going to go for? 
Oh, it's a lovely border collie from the pastoral group. That's Sarah and Dylan. Yes. The... Fantastic achievement for them. Now, who's going to be in the reserves? Oh, it's oh, our oh, youngest the petit, yes. <laughs> Wow. She's going to be floating home tonight, isn't she? That's a day to remember, and I hope all her schoolmates are watching her on I television. Yes. yes. So, as we said, all of those handlers done so well to get here into the big ring, and just before Best in Show, the atmosphere in here is electric. They'll remember this for years to come. Presentation now. There's Ben Ashcroft. Mr. Ben Ashcroft, the young kennel club president, presenting the trophy there. To well our done, winner, Sarah, Sarah and Dylan, Dylan, the Border Collie. The border collie. <laughs> and thank you very much to our judge, Mrs. Barbara the Miller. The reserve there is Erin and Judy, the petty Bassett Griffon Bondian. It's the youngest handler in the competition, young Erin with Judy, the petit Bassett Griffon.